Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Why don't we start the day with the beautiful music and let's enter together to the realm of the classical saxophone that all the musicologists agree to describe as they are the representative of tonal beauty and versatility. Why do I say that? Let me show you. Let me share with you a nice example. Um, the excerpt from a, a, a saxophone quartet, Concerto, written by Hungarian composer, who said that he's the last Hungarian romantic composer, Mr. Hidas, and we, they recorded with the Royal Military Bands of the Netherlands. Here it is. Let's enjoy that tonal beauty. I think nobody would dare this description, this statement, tonal beauty and versatility is just amazing. Why and how we got there? Why did we need a new instrument that is the youngest classical instrument in the big vocabulary of classical instruments? Because Adolf Sachs learned that within the big three sessions of the symphony orchestra, there is a big dynamical balance uh, problem, a gap between the strings, the woodwinds, and the brass instruments. Whenever the new entered, um, the strings were covered by the woodwinds, or when the brass came in, they were the brass. So he was thinking to create an instrument that would cover that gap, that abrupt um, uh, volume uh, the change. And the result is the saxophone, what is basically a metal clarinet, how several musicologists described it, uh, because the body of the instrument is brass with a uh, woodwind mouthpiece attached to it. And let's uh, take a look at that, uh, Adolf Sachs, how he looked when he was thinking about this. Oh, here he is as a young man. And when he moved to Paris after the instrument was created, because in 1841, he showed the instrument in Paris to the Berlioz, who wrote a wonderful supporting article about it. And the, the, here is the first the E flat version of it. Here is the family of the saxophone, soprano, alto, tenor, and baritone, and the mouthpiece that he used for that. Uh, and uh, in uh, 45, 1845, he already living in Paris, organized a nice exhibition, then two sets of saxophones was introduced to the musical world. One group of instruments of seven, they uh, tuned for C and F, and the other E flat and B flat. And these seven, other seven, uh, the E flat and B flat became very popular. So the military band said, okay, we like that. We will, uh, uh, Berlioz supports it, we like it. Why don't we adapt it to the military band? So they were the first who accepted it and applied it. And after England followed the example, Spain and the, the Italy. And in 1853, 54, Louis Antoine Julier organized a nice concert tour in the United States with a soprano saxophone, introducing the instrument to the uh, musicians uh, other side of the ocean. And the Gilmore band immediately adopted to, to that military band in the States too. So the saxophone started to get more and more popular, mainly in the military bands. And after Percy Granger came, who said, okay, let's introduce it. He came from Australia to England and he introduced the instrument because he himself played the soprano saxophone. When you go to Melbourne and the Percy Granger Museum, you visit on the right side and the first 
the location you will see his military uniform and his soprano saxophone. He introduced it to the civil bands also. So they started to pick it up. And how and why it became popular, there's a nice example by a British uh, composer that I would like to show you, Henry Eccles writing a nice sonata for alto saxophone and the, 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 the professor, saxophone professor, the Debrecen. Said... Played it. So you can see that the classical composers also started to think about it and started to apply it. Uh, and, but the military bands were the first after the, the classical composers started to use just one one in, in their compositions. And by today, it's, it's a very well welcomed instrument in the entire classical musical world. And what is very interesting about it, that in the, in the 1920s, the dance bands started to use it. And the jazz picked it up as the newest instrument, the newest musical genre. And in, the, in jazz became Charlie Parker, one of the main representative of the saxophone, but they changed the mouthpiece more parallel and a little shorter to create a, a very nasal sound, very characteristics for the uh, jazz sound of the saxophone that resulted some interesting effects in the Nazi Germany and in the Stalin-led Soviet Union and even in the Vatican, because those three places, places they, they didn't like that. So they just banned the instrument, was not allowed to be played. But the classical saxophone never got to that point. The classical saxophone after the military bands and civil bands and classical composers and the successfully getting featured in the world of jazz became extremely popular all over the world. And today we say that it's a wonderful, beautiful instrument. And let's listen a little bit more to Mr. Hida's concerto for saxophone quartet, because the sound is so enjoyable, so unique, and I would love everyone to enjoy it together with myself. Voice of growing up behind the Iron Curtain, it was very interesting because we knew about the jazz saxophone only, and we already knew that it, we were not supposed to listen to that. And we, about the classical saxophone, while I didn't become the, the conductor of the Central Army Band, I didn't even know because we didn't have classical saxophone education in Hungary. And then in '96, I started to work with the and I established the Liszt Academy Symphonic Band. This is when um, I started to support the classical saxophone. And by today, thanks for that move and openness of the Liszt Academy, we have classical saxophone education in Hungary too, and we all love it. So after the military bands, uh, the civil bands, and now the music education and classical orchestras and the jazz, the Intel music world lovers enjoy that. So we got a wonderful new instruments, thanks for the talent of Adolf 
sax, introduced to the classical instruments and classical music lover words that the contributes to the success and the ex experience of concert lovers of the aesthetic ex experience enjoyment of the sound and i wish you all to listen to more music play more music compose more music and don't forget about this beautiful new instrument that contributes to the, the beauty of the sound helping us to relax less stress longer life more enjoyment and they, they, we prove that we as human race, we are not a whole, whole plus um, creation. We represent really thanks for all the instruments. And in addition to that, to the classical saxophone, intelligent species, species in the universe. I hope you already missed my Hungarian accent and let me back very soon. Have a wonderful